Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we will talk about the LWC local dev which is the latest feature in LWC winter 25 release. So we can preview our LWC's changes without deploying to our org every time. So as a, as a LWC developer it is really hectic. So you have once you make the change you have to uh, save it then you have to deploy it to an org then you have to refresh your browser to see that change. But with LWC local dev, uh, you can do, you can preview the changes in near real time. So let's start with local dev that is still in beta. We can develop our lightning web components and we can see a real time preview of the lightning of our lightning app or our experience cloud uh, website that that is on the lightning web runtime template. The preview automatically updates when we save our changes. Uh, this basically helps us to iterate faster on, on our LWCs without deploying code or manually refreshing the browser. So before LWC local dev, there was a LWC local development server. So it has its own disadvantages. That is the reason why uh, it will be deprecated soon. And uh, LWC local development server is still in beta, was still in beta. So what are the considerations and limitations of LWC local dev? So when you edit local files uh, with uh, local dev enabled, your LWC reflect the following changes in our app or site. So this would work for uh, an LWC that is uh, embedded in any app, any lightning app or is embedded in a LWR website. So basic HTML and CSS ed edits that would be uh, handled in uh, the, the preview of those will be handled in real time, importing new CSS only LWCs. So LWCs that, is that only contains CSS styles. Then we have uh, JS edits in service component library. Your uh, component uh, uh, JS changes in component methods that don't affect LWCs public APIs like updating the lightning app builder configurations for LWC. So these four changes are supported in the local dev. So, and to apply any other local changes, you have to deploy your changes to the org and then refresh. So what are the steps to install the LWC local dev? So you, you need to have uh, the SF Salesforce CLI installed and not the SFDX one. So uh, to check if you have the latest uh, Salesforce CLI installed, you can use the SF hyphen hyphen version command. Then you need to install the local dev plugins. Uh, that I'll show you in just a while and then you have to enable the local dev uh, in your org from setup. So this would only work in a sandbox or a scratch org for now. So now let's see a demo. Currently I'm in, in this help article which tells us about the LWC local dev beta. So it tells me the steps that I need to follow to install the uh, local dev or to start the local dev. So I need to install after installing the SF CLI. I need to run this command to install the Salesforce plugin. What I'll do is I'll uh, click on search. I'll click on uh, command prompt and then I'll first command is I'll check what is my version of Salesforce CLI SF slash slash version. So now I have my version and I have this latest Salesforce CLI installed. The SF version is in 2.6. Uh, 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 the latest SF version is 2.64 and I have that installed. Now what I'll do is I'll install the uh, Salesforce Lightning uh, plugin dev using this command. So I've already installed it in my system for now. So I think I'll uh, get that message that the plugin is already installed. So awesome. So the Salesforce uh, plugin uh, Lightning dev plugin is installed successfully. Uh, so I'll close this now what I have to do is I have to go to my sandbox org and click search for local dev the sandbox should be in your winter 25 release and I have this toggle button as enabled that means I have um, so you should enable the lightning local dev okay now now let me close this so now we have enabled the lightning local dev let me go to my vs code uh, so I've created this uh, project and named it as LWC server. I have authorized my org uh, with that sandbox and I've created this component test preview and I have embedded this in the sales app. So let me go to terminal new terminal and let me run this command SF 
and let me run this command sf lightning dev app and minus o function sandbox so it asked me for which device you want to enable it i'll select desktop now which lighting experience app do you want uh, to use for the preview so i'll click sales app since my component is embedded in the sales app i select it and boom it opens me a window uh, with the lightning server enabled at localhost 8081 so this is my component which i was talking to you about so it is embedded in the home page of the sales app now let me make any change here so i have the title as hello lwc local dev let me change it to youtube tutorial and hello uh so i've changed the uh, title and i've added uh, changed the heading so let me go back and boom the title and the heading got changed automatically now button here so i have created this button click me to and save it and it on click of this we call we call the handle click method and in the js we have this handle click method which prints in the console hello from click so let me open the inspect and click on click me to and boom i can see in the inspect i can see the output getting printed so i uh, what i uh, so i tried uh, using a template for each loop okay so now what i have done is i have updated the account object here with a hard coded value and now let me just uncomment this so what this does is like it loops over the account list and it uh, prints uh, it prints uh, the name with a p tag and let me save it let's see if this got printed okay so the template for it, for each or the loop does not work in a lwc local dev so as i told you like only basic html and css edits work but uh, this is a great feature considering that we do not have to deploy every changes for for the ui let's say at least in the future right now it's still in the beta but one in the future once salesforce uh, makes it ga they are going to provide much more functionality than what we have currently so uh, this this is i this is i showed you this i showed you how to run the local dev for the lightning app for the lwr website you need to use this command sf lightning dev site with the target or and uh, i'll share the article uh, this link of this article so you can read more on the limitations and what are other things you need to take care take into consideration so thanks everyone for watching this video hope you learned something new and do subscribe to my channel for more such videos in the future thanks everyone